constantly calling, texting, messaging him, trying to be connected to him all the time, day and night, getting upset when you're not and when you haven't talked in a day or two, right? And uh, a lot of women don't realize and, and it, it, it's one of those things where this might not actually be you feeling like you don't deserve a good guy, uh, but it might be something where you don't understand that this is normal communication behavior for a lot of people. And so what ends up happening, whether you uh, are acting this way because you feel like you don't deserve a guy or whether you're acting this way because you don't know that that's like most people have kind of time between kind of communications, days sometimes between communications, especially in the beginning dating phases, this can put a guy off because it seems like it feels like you're kind of coming from the space of desperation, the space of neediness and the space of feeling like you don't deserve it. So you have to do something in order to make it happen, right? Which is the flip side where we, we do get a lot of women in our community who do this, where they kind of grasp on and they feel like they have to be doing something all the time in order to make a guy feel a certain way, which is this kind of like trick. It's this counterintuitive thing where that actually pushes him further away rather than making him feel closer to you. And so, yeah, all it does is, is it just tells him that you're needy, desperate, and that he has to act a certain way for you to feel good about yourself. And that just makes him want to pull away even further. And so just chill out. You know, we talked about pacing, you know, pull back a little bit relax, you know, have other things going on in your life. I talk a lot about that. That's kind of the lifestyle component that we talk about here.